In this demo, I will show you how to uh, get started with the design time governance. It's using an ANT script that um, downloads from three different GitHub repositories. It builds the applications from source, and then it deploys those applications to a JBoss Enterprise Application Server version 6.1. To get your hands on the script, you'll have to go to the documentation page for design time governance. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see an article about leading edge governance, getting started. So you can do one, or, one of two things. You can either use the zip file and follow the instructions here, or the same exact instructions can be found on a GitHub repository called o Overlord. So I'm choosing to follow the GitHub repository instructions that it can be found here on the same page. The first thing to do is to clone this repository. So either you download the zip file or you clone just this, this repository. So I just cloned it into an overlord directory and you should see three files. So at this point it is uh, time to check out the code. So and clone We'll do that for you, for you. All right, this took uh, 30 seconds or so. So at this point, uh, you should have uh, the code. You should see three different uh, repositories were pulled down, and we can build all of that with uh, an and install. And uh, while this is building, uh, we can go ahead and uh, download uh, EIP. You will have to log into jboss.org for this, and you'll have to go to the uh, jboss AS downloads directory and uh, download EIP's version 6.1. Go ahead and click OK, and it will start downloading that for that file. So that took about uh, 12 minutes to uh, build on my machine. Now we're going to move uh, the JBoss app server in here. It already came uh, down, so move the zip archive in here. And at this point, we can run and deploy to deploy the applications onto the app server. You're going to have to give a password, administrative pass password. And at this point, we can start the app server. I'm going to do that from a separate window. We can start the app server. And uh, when that's coming up, we can seed the uh, our repository. So let's make, make sure it's up and running. Looks like it is. We can see the repository. This we have to put the same password in here that we gave previously. That is first uploading uh, two ontologies and then some workflows. Ontologies are up now and workflows are being uploaded now. And that is it. You should have a fully working server now. So uh, let's check that we have the SRAMP console.
And we do. So we're fully up. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, check back later.